Hello and welcome back to the GCP Mindset channel. Today, we'll talk about what is regulatory compliance in clinical trials. More after the intro. Welcome to the GCP Mindset channel and all topics on clinical research. Welcome to the world of clinical trials, a cornerstone of medical research and the development of new treatments. Today, we'll be exploring an often overlooked aspect, regulatory compliance. Let us start with understanding clinical trials. Clinical trials are research studies performed on human volunteers to determine the safety and efficacy of new drugs, medical devices, or procedures. They play a vital role in improving healthcare by establishing the best interventions for specific diseases or conditions. Clinical trials typically proceed through four phases. Phase I trials focus on safety and dosage. Phase Run 2 evaluates efficacy and side effects. Phase Roman 3 compares the new treatment with current best practices, and Phase Roman 4 involves post-marketing surveillance to monitor long-term effects. But what is regulatory compliance? Regulatory compliance refers to a company or organization adhering to laws, regulations, guidelines, and specifications relevant to its processes. In clinical trials, it ensures that studies are designed, conducted, and reported according to internationally recognized standards protecting patients' rights, safety, and well-being while producing reliable results. Regulatory compliance is crucial for several reasons. Firstly, it guarantees that participants are treated ethically and their rights respected. Secondly, it ensures research integrity. Data collected should be accurate and verifiable. Finally, it facilitates regulatory approval. Non-compliant trials may result in rejection by regulatory bodies. But who regulates clinical trials? Clinical trials are overseen by various regulatory agencies worldwide. In the United States, the Food and Drug Administration FDA, plays this role, ensuring that the rights, safety, and welfare of trial participants are protected and that the data generated is credible. In the European Union, the European Medicines Agency EMA, is responsible for evaluating medicinal products, safety, and efficacy. Each member state also has its national competent authority overseeing clinical trials conducted within their territory. What are the key regulatory compliance requirements in clinical trials? Regulatory compliance in clinical trials involves several elements. One of the most important is good clinical practice, GCP, an international ethical and scientific quality standard for designing, conducting, recording, and reporting clinical trials. Another cornerstone is informed consent, where trial participants are fully briefed on the trial's purpose, potential benefits and risks, alternative treatments, and their rights before agreeing to participate. Data management and confidentiality are also paramount. Clinical trials generate vast amounts of data that must be accurately recorded, verified, stored, and processed while respecting patient privacy laws. Are there any consequences of non-compliance in clinical trials? Non-compliance can have serious repercussions. These range from financial penalties to suspension or termination of the trial, damage to the company's reputation, and even legal action. For instance, in 2008, the FDA issued a warning letter to GlaxoSmithKline for failing to report safety data about its diabetes drug Avandia. But how to ensure compliance in clinical trials? Ensuring compliance involves several steps. First, organizations need to understand the regulatory requirements applicable to their trial. Regular audits and monitoring are crucial to identify and address compliance issues swiftly. A clinical trial monitoring committee, also known as a data and safety monitoring board, can also play a vital role. This independent group of experts periodically reviews trial data to ensure participant safety and treatment efficacy. In conclusion, regulatory compliance in clinical trials is not just a legal obligation, it's an ethical one as well. By protecting participant rights, ensuring research integrity, and facilitating regulatory approval, compliance is vital for successful clinical trials. 
It's important to understand and adhere to these principles. By doing so, we can contribute towards progress in medical research while ensuring the safety and respect of those who make it possible, the trial participants. Thank you for watching our video, and we hope that you found it informative. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content on clinical research. We look forward to see you next time.